Hi guys, it's your girl B. Michelle coming at you again with another Dollar Tree DIY. These lamps were easy to make. If you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. So these are the items that I used to create these lamps. I used a hot glue gun and a glue stick, some scissors, the sticky um, diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree, adhesive, uh, fix all adhesive or E6000, some tape, and these are the little um, lights. And these I already had from a thrift store and I just spray painted them. And the cutting boards from the Dollar Tree, as well as the spray paint. And I picked that up from Walmart. So I started by spray painting um, the cutting cutting boards. I just laid something across the top portion and I just sprayed a line across the top. And I did have a little bit of overspray, but since that part is not going to be seen, I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm just taking the cutting board and I'm placing it inside of this Dollar Tree um, candle holder. And I'm just trying to get it down to the size of the candle holder. I want it to fit snugly in there. So I'm just trying to get the right size shape so I'll know where to glue my, um, my piece down together. So once you have the correct shape, you wanna go ahead and take the tape and put a piece on the outside so you'll know, so you can keep that same shape so you'll know where to glue your pieces together. I did not use the tape on this part, but I'm advising that you use the tape so you'll know where to glue your pieces down together at. And I'm sorry, you guys, I didn't have the camera positioned uh, properly for you to see. I was actually hot gluing the top portion and I'm just holding it there um, for a few seconds until it dries. And this is plastic that we are using, so you don't want to really, well, I use hot glue, but you also can use the E6000 or the fix-all glue instead of um, using the hot glue to adhere these pieces together because it is plastic, it can melt with the hot glue. So I'm just using some more hot glue to adhere the rest of the piece together. And I'm just gonna hold it in place until it actually um, dries. Another thing you guys, the cutting board is actually, um, it has the two sides of it. One side is smoother than the other side. I'm actually leaving the smoother side on the inside and I'm the outer portion is the more rougher um, side of the cutting board. So I'm just letting that glue um, adhere together and then I'm going to place it down into the um, the candle holder. I'm sorry you guys, I'm still not feeling my best but and I apologize for my voice and everything. I sound a bit sluggish but Still not feeling my best, but anyway, um, I'm gonna put this piece down into that candle holder that you see there. And I just wanted to make sure that all the glue is dry. So here I'm actually using the, um, the little lights here. These are the little clip-on lights for reading at night or you can clip on your cell phone, I believe, too. So I'm just gonna unscrew um, the little wire piece actually if you twist it it will just come off really easy if you twist it um, I think counterclockwise it comes off really easy so this is going to be our lighting mechanism um, so I'm just going to I'm just placing it to see where I want to hot glue these down so when I place it in this um, candle holder here and with this candle holder, I think they do have different designs, maybe at the Dollar Tree, but this is the only design that I've actually found. Um, and it kind of has like the chevron pattern. So when you're placing this on the inside, you want to make sure that your piece goes all the way in the candle holder. With these uh, rough edges on the, with the chevron pattern, you may want to push it out a little bit to make sure that your piece goes down on the inside of the candle holder and not overlapping some of the metal pieces because that was a problem. So I pushed out all of the pieces, uh, well, the bottom portion of the chevron print and 
I actually bent that one back a little bit too far, but um, you can go ahead and do that in advance, that last section of the chevron print pattern. Go ahead and push it out a little bit so that when you get ready to slide your piece in, it doesn't get caught and parts of it end up on the outside of the frame, so you want it to be all the way inside. So I'm not going to glue this down or anything. I'm just placing it in there and it fits pretty snug. So now I can um, actually see where I want to place the two. I'm going to use two of the lights on the inside. So I'm just showing you where I lined up the seam of where it was glued down together with the seam also that's on the candle holder. And if you have any pieces that's kind of sticking out, go ahead and glue those down. And like I said, you can also use tape on this project if you like. So I'm just trying to see where I want to place those two lights. So basically that's all I'm doing in this clip here. So this is another way that you can have these lamps. Um, you can actually put another candle holder on the other end and you can put lights on both ends of the um, candle holder you can actually glue the light down to the candle um the candle holder itself and you can turn it on and off from that way and all you do is just connect the two sides together so that's another way that you can um actually do these lights but for this video i'm just going to leave just leave it to one side of the candle holder um, and that's going to be the base portion so I'm just going to take the hot glue and I'm putting a generous amount of hot glue onto this light and I'm going to glue it down to the back portion where the two seams meet where it was actually glued down together and I'm sorry I don't have it in the camera oh well, there it is so I'm just placing it down and I actually placed the first light um, above where the rim of the candle holder, the silver piece of the candle holder, I placed it above that so you can see the light once it's turned on. And since I'm only using two, I'm taking the second one and I'm just unscrewing it from the uh, little clip on portion and I'm taking more hot glue. And I'm just going to place that one down um, right above the other one that I just placed in. Just kind of like in a line. But it's only going to be two. You can use as many lights as you like. I only use two for this particular project. And there's other ways that you can do this. Um, I actually got this idea from, I don't know her name, but I'll link, uh, put her um name down in the description where I kind of got this idea from so this is how it looks you guys it's really pretty and I was actually going to place these on the wall but I decided to go ahead and just um, hot glue it to those candle holders that I have that I got those from I think maybe from a thrift store and I just spray painted those um, so everything can match so I'm also going to bling out the top portion and this is where I'm using the sticky um, diamond wrap, the one with the adhesive already on them. Instead of me using the hot glue on this plastic, I'd rather use the stick, um, the kind that's already sticky. You can use a, a little bit of hot glue in addition to um, the stickiness to make sure that make sure that it stays in place. But I'm not going to use any extra hot glue. I'm just going to go ahead and stick those on there. And I'm using two rolls of the, the um, diamond wrap adhesive. So I'm just cutting out what I need to place around the top, I'm sorry, the top portion. So now I'm just going around the top portion um, with the diamond wrap. So now I'll take the candle holder, in which you can use the glass candle holders from the Dollar Tree if you just want to spray paint them, or if you want to leave them clear as well, you can do that. Or you can come up with your own design, and you may want to put these on the wall like the previous idea that I saw. And like I said, I'll link the um, I'll put her name in the description bar, uh, box. So I'm just going to take some hot glue, and you can use the E6000 or 
the fix all on top of the hot glue um, to make sure that this stays together completely but you will need to let it cure but for this I'm just going to go ahead and use the hot glue and I'm just going to go around the top portion and I'm just showing you that uh, you can use these other glues but for now I'm just going to go around the top portion with the hot glue and I'm going to adhere those two together. So just want to place those two together. You just want to center it as much as possible. And that's it. You guys is actually done. So that's it, you guys. This is the final look, the final result. And they're actually really pretty and it's very simple to make. So this is how it looks when... I don't have the lamps turned on and this is how they look when they are turned on at night so they're very pretty and they do light up pretty well um so that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also you can leave me some comments and you can ring that bell so you don't miss out on any diys or any videos that i put up so that's it you guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe. Bye.